Hello, St. James family. My name is Debbie Jones, and I serve you as chairman of the Leadership Council here at St. James. I want to thank each and every one of you for standing firm in your faith and trusting in Almighty God as we go through this difficult time together. I miss you, and I look forward to the time when we can all be together again. We are staying connected in some very new and different ways, but one way that has never changed is through our prayers for each other. God has not forgotten you, and neither has the staff at St. James. You may not realize it, but our staff has continued to serve you, and they've had to learn how to do, to do that without being physically present. They have been busy contacting every person who attends St. James, producing worship services online each Sunday, conducting online Bible studies, and emailing daily devotions. You can check out Pastor Bill's devotion on Facebook. And this Sunday, they have a special event, event planned for us. We are all familiar with drive through for fast food, coffee, banking, dry cleaning. But how about drive through prayer? That's right, you can come to the St. James parking lot Sunday morning and be prayed for by members of the staff while you were in your car. Safe distancing will be practiced, and there are two time slots. Families whose last names begin with the letters A through J can come between 10 and 11, and those in the rest of the alphabet can come from 11 to noon. Now to the point of this message. As a church, we have a lot of fixed costs. We have to pay insurance and utilities. We give to ministries like the light, and we pro provide salaries for our staff. We want to be sure that our doors are ready to open when we can return and that we have a staff here to serve us. So it's important that we continue to give our tithes and offerings each week. In the last two weeks, those contributions have dropped by 75%. So I'm passing the virtual collection plate right now and giving you the opportunity to send in your tithes and offerings. There are two ways that you can do it. The first is snail mail. Yes, it still works. But the second way is online giving. All you need to go, do is go to the St. James website, www.sjunc.org. Click on the Giving Online tab that you will find close to the upper right-hand corner of your screen. And then follow the guide as you are led through the process. It's very simple. I did it this past summer and it has made giving so easy. I don't have to remember my checkbook. I don't have to remember to write that thing out every week. I just sit back and relax. It's very easy. Thank you for being such a wonderful church family. If you have any prayer requests, please call or email the church and let us know. I want to close with some words from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter nine, verses six through 11. Paul is asking the Corinthians to prepare the gift that they had pledged to give to the Jerusalem church. I'm going to be reading from the contemporary English version. Remember this saying, a few seeds make a small harvest, but a lot of seeds make a big harvest. Each of you must make up your own mind about how much to give. Don't, but don't feel sorry that you must give, and don't feel that you are forced to give. God loves people who love to give. God can bless you with everything you need, and you will always have more than enough to do all kinds of good things for others. The scriptures say God freely gives his gifts to the poor and always does right. God gives seed to farmers and provides everyone with the food they need. He will increase what you have so that you can give even more to those in need. You will be blessed in every way, and you will be able to keep on being generous. Then many people will thank God when we deliver your gift. Paul understood the blessing of giving and the cycle of thanksgiving and prayer and glorifying God that it produces in the hearts of God's people. May you be richly blessed in your giving and may God be glorified in all we do. And remember, Easter is coming. Amen.